the never ending spending of money to build a shop. Yep. So, what are we going to get? Bandsaw. 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 Hell yeah. My man. You have a truck and trailer for every situation. Yep. Like, literally. Like, this is. What is that from? That's from doing burnouts with a cop car on the trailer. Oh, this is the truck. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. So we're just heading 20 minutes down the road and we're gonna go grab uh, a bandsaw. There is a cop driving through the grass in the park across from our building. Where is he going? How did he get up there anyway? I don't know. What, you have manual windows? This is a work truck. Dude, he is like four buying through the park. He's looking for somebody. Yeah. I'm like, he was driving through the grass. Fun fact, Ferrari Enzo has manual windows. Oh, nice. It does. They're kind of interesting. They have like, um, have you never seen them? See how this is like right here? Let's see if I can get it down low enough. See how this just has like the knob comes out like this? A Ferrari Enzo has a big disc and the knob is on one side of the disc. So when you want to roll the window down in an Enzo, you roll it around on this disc. It's bizarre. I don't know why it's like that. But. Interesting. <laughs> we made it. We're back with the saw. It was fun. I was sketched out the whole time and really, really scared that this thing was going to fly off the back of the trailer and like pulverize <laughs> some person in their little Prius. Wait until you see this thing. I don't understand how it's strapped down. We're going around corners and this thing's like, Looks like it's 15 Eight feet. feet in the air. Yeah, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. It's sketchy, and when you first put it on with the pallet, it was like teetering. Huh. I was like two seconds away from being like, if I saw that thing going, I was like, Mike, get out the no, I just got the car builder, no. <laughs> Trying to save him. Uh, I'll move the SVJ out. Yeah, we're gonna fight. And then push this over. over. Yeah. yeah, okay. You guys can go ahead and kind of inch that over and I'll move this beast. Cold start, you guys want a cold start? I'll give you a cold start. Check this out. I think this will stick here. It should. Look at that. Oh, oh, hold on. It's on a, it's on a. Yeah. That's pretty good. Go rock for it. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at this thing move. We need to order some tires for this thing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're backing out and it's doing this. Woo, 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 woo. Like. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah. You're good. You're gonna just right there, hit that a little. A couple of rubber pins. Alright, those are already broken. I hope you didn't scuff our rims. <laughs> you know? Those ultra rare high value steel rims. Only the finest wheels for cop cars. That's right. Indestructible. So have you mapped out in your head at all like kind of where you want all these machines, kind of as an order? Is there, is there like a, this might sound stupid, but is there a way where like you would ever need to go from like one machine to another machine, like in an order or you just put them wherever? So I think we're going to do the plasma all the way in the back because it's Corner. a big machine. Yeah. Um, and then highly reliable plasma machine, highly reliable, reliable. use it all the time. Well, hopefully cutting out dildo shapes. A, yeah. A completely different story, right? For sure. Uh, then the mill. Yeah. Okay, mill. Then bandsaw. Which we just got. Yep, that way, you know, any chips and metal, that kind of stuff, it's kind of kept on that side. 
And then we'll have the sheet metal bender, drill press, you know, a few other things over here. So try to keep like the dirtiest stuff at that end of the shop. Just, you know, when we have a car in there that we're working on. That makes sense. Yeah. I was just wondering what the theory or the thought process was. Yeah. I asked those questions for the benefit of you guys. Cause honestly, I don't give a shit, but I thought it'd be interesting to ask. <laughs> I'm like, Mike, do whatever you want. I don't care, but... You also look like you just came out of the... You got toilet paper stuck to your foot. <laughs> Pretty easy to do a reverse entry when your rear wheels turn. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's right. <laughs> and then it becomes a nitrous tank. Eric's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, we can paint it to look like a nitrous tank. Yeah. Be safe. I thought you meant put nitrous on it. Oh no, just, just a little. I was like, it runs on propane, Eric. It runs <laughs> on propane. I definitely think paint it so it looks like a nitrous bottle, tire stickers, some super logos. It's a Toyota. It's a what? It's a Toyota. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Supra. <laughs> Some sketchy shit. Hope I get away with it. Oh, to do that day. Oh, that was close. That was close. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. Tight, tight, tight. tight Mike. Tight, tight, tight. It is currently freezing in California. I got my jetpack though, keeping me warm. Officer Essa. Turn those lights on. Heads up, menace to society right there. Look at how janky this thing is. Look at this thing. So janky. I actually think my favorite part is the fact that it's got an August uh, like a beauty plate on it right here. What's that? I think one of my favorite things is that it's got an August uh, like van oh, yeah. vanity plate. Yeah. And yet we didn't buy it from August. We bought it from some <laughs> random auction in Texas. But we have it on, yeah, yeah. Do not call August looking for a cop car. They don't sell these. Because race car, like he literally just pulled that off and yeah, yeah. Five seconds. Five seconds, yeah. This car is completely useless now, Mike. It's got no door or seats. <laughs> well, this is cool. What? Oh yeah. You can pin it in right there. There you go. Put it in. There you go. There's one in the center too. But what's funny is whoever undid it. I can't get it to go back in now. Oh. With center net? Yeah. Oh, it's a little tricky. Yeah, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, but we it actually was, took a center net out. It feels like this short. It was feel it felt like it was it's, this short. It's super tight. You got to do it, and there's like a little pry bar kind of a lever on it. You got to put it in, and like, so you never really oh, yeah, take you that twist down. It. Yeah, I was gonna unless say. Unless you're working on the car, or yeah, a driver has to get out from that side if they crash, you know, on this side. We don't need it though, right? No, I pulled it out already. We're gonna we don't need the easy. we don't need the cage. We'll take the cage out. We We're gonna put this back to street stock. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what this project really is, Eric. This project is about taking street cars and making them race cars, and taking race cars and making them street cars. Cross them, right? Do what? Cross. You and hand movements. <laughs> In the last video, you were like. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> now we crossing. Watch how quick he pulls these off. Look at. The other one. Well, don't leave this anywhere in a bad neighborhood. Someone will just walk away with your doors. What's with you and rulers? 
Every piece of metal is like this exact it's a, same it's piece. A ruler. And you're gonna put holes in it now, right? We're gonna drill some holes in it. Plasma table or drill? I wish we had a plasma here. So I could spend three hours back there <laughs> trying to get it to work. <laughs> okay, so this is just for the passenger side? Yeah, so uh, since race cars usually only have the seat on the driver's side, that side's been modified. So you can see it's very different. There's like some channel in there. There's, yep. it's all flat. This is the original side over here. It's not been modified. So it's got these angle for the front bolts. So we've got to make something which is going to be this metal. We're going to bend it here. We're going to drill holes and then it'll be flat and we'll be able to bolt the uh, uprights for the seat, basically the side mounts for the seat oh. onto it. So the, the brackets that came from Sparco for the seat just don't have anywhere to mount to the floor. Exactly. It's got like you, got you. big open space here and we have no way to, to drill and mount anything into the floor here. And it's aluminum, so I can't drill it and weld, you know, a piece of steel into there. So we have to make these adapters. But Copy that. Yeah, we'll get that done and then we'll have a passenger seat. Perfect. Going to the moon? What's that? <laughs> Are you going to the moon? <laughs> I'm here to help. Don't judge me. I am big on safety. Safety first. Safety first, Mike. Although this isn't very handy. It fogs up. You're huffing too big. <laughs> I've been doing push-ups while you guys are working. <laughs> Trying to lose some weight so I fit in the damn seat. It's safety, Eric! <laughs> what are those? I'm scared of... <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even mind me. <laughs> hold that for a sec. Yeah, no problem. Continue on. What are you looking for? Pry bar. A pry, a pry, pry, a pry bar. A what? A pry bar. You know, like a bar. A pry. It's pry. How's that work? <laughs> Don't do that. Show me again. Are you shoveling or prying? <laughs> you look like you're shoveling dead bodies into the back of the cop car trunk. Is that, isn't this what this is for? It could be. You can, people, we could fit somebody in here. I don't even know how you open it. I don't even think there's a button. You have to open it from the inside. Oh. Hey, look at this shelf. The mask, the like ventilators, lots of safety equipment. You seeing the theme here? The bionic shield. Well, a lot of people said Eric and Garrett should have had ear protection. Because you could have had permanent hearing damage. Well, look at this. There's been earmuffs here the entire time and you guys didn't take them out of the box. Oh, we didn't know. I love how everything in here is so new. And yet we are actually doing stuff, but no one's opening anything. Can I open it? Like, we even have, look at this. We even have moving blankets. So the day that we move out of here, we're prepared. <laughs> so we're betting, Where's the high torque? we're betting to see how Hold long on, it'll take. Hold on, start my time over. <laughs> that is not no, fair. You need to know your tools, son. Yeah. You need to know your tools, son. Yeah, you, yeah. Do you want to start over and get my first hands? Hold on, put that back on, put, put it back on. Okay. We'll, give you, we'll, give you, we'll give you a fair chance, okay. So we're doing an over under. Mike, what's your prediction? I said a minute, 45 seconds. Eric said two minutes. This is to see how long it's going to take Mark to take off uh, 10 lug nuts, both wheels on the cop car because we're gonna get new tires because you fucked them up. I, I'm sorry about that. Um, so I'm gonna it's say- It's a company policy actually, you wreck tires here. I'm gonna say, 45 seconds. The car's already jacked up. 45 seconds? It's in the air, the tool's ready. He's got a little practice now. Look at him warming up. <laughs> Two wheels. 45, 45 seconds. I say a minute 45. I say, I say All right, you guys ready? Here we go. I'm gonna visualize the win. All right, Mark. Three, two, one, go.
He didn't even take the wheel off. See, you can... Close. Yeah. Yeah. No. Forty-eight. If he would have taken that wheel off the first, the first time, time, I didn't think about uh, taking the wheel off. Another. Uh, another thing. <laughs> what? I, what? I forgot about that part. <laughs> <part. laughs> Why are you taking the lug nuts off? <laughs> What's the point? Right? Second, another thing. Second of all, it would have been a minute forty-five had we not had we not had given the redo because the first time <laughs> you started, you like. <laughs> like just bogging the thing down. Yeah. Yeah, another thing, keep when the gun is spinning and you're not sure if the lug nut's all the way, yeah. keep it spinning till you see it flopping around and then pull it off while it's still spinning. And then let the lug fall out of it. Mm. Yeah. Tips mm -hmm. from the champ. Tips. Yeah, dude, he knows what he's you doing. You did pretty good, bro. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, solid job. There solid job. Am I hired, Mike? Oh, you, trust me, you don't want that job. <laughs> that job's a lot harder than the editing job. <laughs> Like, physically, that's a lot harder. Your hands get dirty and shit. How dirty are your hands on that computer, Mark? Hey, my hands are nice and clean. Not right now. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's compare. Yeah. Look at that. And I didn't even touch tires. I gotta cut I'm your just ones. doing seats. <laughs> yeah, seats. <laughs> By the way, it's been four hours. Are the seats in yet, Mike? Nope. <laughs> We're yet. chatting about how it's funny, like, seats are what would seemingly be a simple task. You're like, oh, you just unbolt a few seats. Or a few bolts, you unbolt a few seats. But you do both. Like, it's not in a race car, it's not like a street car. Like the setup and everything we were talking about it. It's like, cause it's custom and it's specific to the driver and you want it back and closer this way and there's a cage to avoid. Um, and you usually don't have sliders in race Yeah, cars. you don't have sliders. So uh, no bullshit, like putting these two seats in, it is 11 o'clock at night and we got the seats at three. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, he hasn't been working on them all day, but yeah. it's been a process. We're all getting our workouts on. Oh. It started with, I brought the push up blocks in, and I started doing push ups. And then Eric goes, after 50 push ups in, Eric goes, I'll go push up for push up with you. <laughs> I was like, okay, bro. So we've been doing that. And then all of a sudden it escalated to Mark saying, Have you ever done squats, overhead squats? I did yeah. those. It was really hard. So. Yeah. All of a sudden, Eric's like, go get the weights. <laughs> he says, just like that, go get the weights. Go get the weights. Get the weights. So next thing you know, he went and got weights. weights. He's like, Eric's like, get 15s. And of course, Mark comes back with 30s. So <laughs> I even tried to squat with those over my head. And I, sh you know, shamed myself by saying I couldn't do them. But Mark made it look easy. Yeah. And then it turned into, what was your question? I wanted to know if I could squat Eric. So I know that's I when I, squat, Eric. I just want to do it. That's when I picked the camera up and went, nobody's squatting anybody unless we're filming it. Because if something goes wrong, we got to get it on camera. So, All right, Eric, this is, this is a team effort. Are you ready? You don't ask about how heavy I weigh? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, oh don't worry about it, son. Right, so give me this arm. We're yeah. going to do fireman carry. Fireman. <laughs> All right, Eric, how many do you think I can do? Uh, 10. 10? Yeah. We'll do 11. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a bit weird. Dude, he's making it look easy. I'm 148. I'm not heavy, but... Holy crap. This is crap. impressive. Oh. What are you at? 8. 9. Um, 10. 10. 11. Throw the weights. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Roll the weights! Whoa! All right, Eric, hold on. That was impressive. Here we go, Eric. We're going for it again. The, the worst part, flat. hey, the worst part is the heater's been on the whole yeah. time. Ooh, it's, it's hot. Warm. It's a little hot in here. Quick. Okay, what's your right, next Eric, move? Lay, lay flat. Lay flat. Okay, what's the next move well, here? Right? Back. I'm gonna deadlift you, Eric. This what? is at the DDHQ, by the way. We were in the middle of editing a video right there. I was editing a stories video on my phone, uploading it now. 
and it escalated to okay. exercise. So like this. Oh, this is interesting. What do you do? your hands now. Cross your legs. Uh -huh. Not like that. <laughs> How? Like your feet. Cross your feet. Oh. Like this? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I've never done this. We'll see how it goes. I've never done this. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, hold. Be still. You ready, Eric? No. We're coming from low. What? What? You... Like deadlifts? Oh, deadlifts. Mark's a beast. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Team player. Pulls go. Eric up, throws him through the wall. <laughs> no curls. Boom. <laughs> Eric. Huh? You bring me a first aid kit. I All I asked for was tissue. You're sneezing. I'm sneezing and my nose is running. All I want is tissue or, you, pap or paper towel. You almost took over. Oh, I do not need a Band-Aid. See if there's anything in there. You almost took over. Okay. Is there Kleenex yeah. in there? I'll, I'm in. I'm in. Open something. it up. Let's go. What's inside? My mask. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is nice. What's inside? What is so you went and got something without even knowing whether or not it had what I needed in it, but you brought wait, it wait, in. Wait. All I know is it's an emergency. So <laughs> you can use some gauze, I guess. The truth is, I appreciate the gesture very much so, uh -huh. but my nose does not need any aspirin, antacids, this might non aspirin. Help. Here, here's some eyewash. This must help. You can just stick it into your nose and like close it up. Oh my gosh, you yeah, guys. You should, you should use that. Hey, 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 stop pulling all this stuff out and just put it back. <laughs> because we're, someone's going to get hurt and then we're going to be like, oh, where's the... Eric, where's the safety scissors? Where's the pure wash and it's going to be lost. I'm glad someone got first aid kits though for the bloody shop. I said, why do we not have those, well, remember? Yeah, I mean, we got one for the van and now we have one for the actual shop. And it's still probably a little under par for what a machine shop actually has, you know? Like the, I mean, you see guys will cut off. I have a phone and it says 911 on it. That's what I'm calling. Yeah, Ain't no first aid. Well, I probably could, yeah. Well, they're supposed to have like the, the joke eye wash thing. Yes, eye wash stuff. station. Oh, the chemical, yeah. but I don't think we're doing like. My nose is still running, stuff. by the way. I'll just get some cleaning. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting here. My nose is like, I would have a sneezing attack. Thanks, Eric. It Eric, is crazy windy here. Like, this is probably the worst I've ever seen it at the shop. Like, at least it's not raining right now. Like, Hands down. Look at this, babe. The side blew over. It's like crazy, like some wild windstorm. Holy crap, dude! In the street, this whole this whole street's a wind tunnel. <laughs> 